Hello everybody, this is Rob Swatsky from the York Campus of Hack, and welcome back to my Biology 121 Anatomy and Physiology 1 course. This is podcast 2.4D, pH balance and buffer systems. Body fluids display a variety of pH values, from strongly acidic fluids, such as the stomach's gastric juice, with a pH in the range of 1.2 to 3.0, to basic fluids such as blood, pH of 7.35 to 7.45, and bile secreted by the liver, pH of 7.6 to 8.6. The pH of these and other body fluids are kept within a narrow range through various homeostatic mechanisms involving the circulatory, respiratory, and urinary systems. This balancing act is important since metabolic processes fail to work well when a fluid's pH is above or below its normal range. For example, acidosis occurs if blood's pH drops below 7.35. This condition severely affects the physiology of the central nervous system by slowing down the conduction of nerve impulses. This leads the person to become disoriented, and if the pH drops below 7.0, the person enters into a coma with death soon following. If the pH of the blood increases above 7.45, a condition called alkalosis occurs. This condition has the opposite effect of acidosis, in which the central and peripheral nervous systems become overexcited. This causes the nerves to repeatedly fire, even without stimuli, which leads to nervousness, muscle spasms, convulsions, and death. The body is always taking strong acids and bases into the blood by ingestion, as well as forming them through normal metabolism. These acids and bases can then disrupt normal fluid pH because they easily ionize into hydrogen and hydroxide ions when in solution. A major way that the body stabilizes the pH of its fluids is through buffer systems. A buffer is a chemical that can take strong acids and bases and transform them into weak acids and bases, which prevents large changes in body fluid pH. Buffers are able to do what they do because they are actually weak acids and bases themselves. They can perform their buffering functions because of their ability to add or remove hydrogen ions. The most important buffering system in the blood and extracellular fluid is the carbonic acid bicarbonate buffer system. In this system, carbonic acid, H2CO3, acts as a weak acid, while bicarbonate ion, HCO3, acts as a weak base. Carbonic acid donates a hydrogen ion to a water molecule, H2O, to form a hydronium ion, H3O, and a bicarbonate ion, HCO3. If an acid is added into the blood, it will donate its hydrogen ions, and the concentration of hydronium ions in the blood will increase. The bicarbonate ions will react with the hydronium ions to produce more of the weak carbonic acid, H2CO3, which prevents the development of a more acidic pH. If a base is added into the blood, it will increase the concentration of hydroxide ions, OH. Carbonic acid will react with the hydroxide ions, forming more bicarbonate ions, HCO3, a weak base, which prevents the development of a more basic pH. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to contact me by email at rjswatsk at hack.edu if you have any questions or comments about the course.